Hey guys, Crazy Postman here. Well, we have another Luba midweek update today, making a special trip. If you're new here, I have a full playlist about all my Luba robotic lawnmower adventures since I've purchased it. If you're not new here, welcome back. So, I got a phone call from my dad this morning and Luba stopped in the front yard again. If you remember the last video, there's something wrong in its little Luba brain between the two zones in the front yard. It makes a little donut hole where it gets stuck. It, it gets over in the far zone and it can't figure out how to cross the line for some reason. So, Approaching a railroad crossing. Thanks, Waze. So I figured I would give it one more chance and obviously it blew its last chance. It got stuck in the front yard again. It gets stuck there when it's trying to automatically go home, but you can manually tell it to go home and it will. So what it was trying to do was go home and recharge and then come back and finish mowing. Well, on my app, I'll show you on the app right now. I did a screen record of the app on my phone this morning when I told it to go home. I will show you that right now. So you can see from this screen recording from this morning that Luba is stuck in the front yard right where its donut hole is. Now this is just after I told it to automatically go home. I didn't record earlier, but earlier there was up in the top corner of this screen there was a pause icon so you could see that it had paused mowing and then it got stuck in its donut hole there in the middle of the yard and it would not automatically go back to charge I tried to tell it to resume and it just spun in circles there in the donut hole for just a second you could tell because see Luba has the red arrow in front of it and you could just see its little red arrow going in circles there in the middle of the yard but here, I just told it to go home. I canceled its task. I said in task, and then I told it to go home, and it did. So y'all just saw that I was able to get it to go home. Supposedly, if the zones are overlapping, you don't need to put a corridor or a travel highway, whatever you want to call it, you don't need to put a pathway on there if they're overlapping so I think that's the problem they're overlapping but I have a pathway and it's hidden it's it's a whole software mess but I'm just gonna delete it and redo it and then we'll see if that solves the problem okay so we're at the house now he says you can see the tracks all you have to do is follow them so we're gonna go see let me spin y'all around here there you can see it so let's go out here and see what the heck has happened. And there it is. There is Luba's donut hole. So what I'm gonna do is, it's getting windy, let me put on the mic. So there you can see it, Luba's donut hole. I don't know why it gets stuck from going between that zone to this zone, but it does. And it's right there so what we're gonna do is I'm going to delete this zone and remap it there's a hidden pathway somewhere out here that is just causing my map chaos so let's get this uh, remapped real quick and hopefully that will solve our problem there's the RTK just chilling up there on the roof There's the duck. He's a good boy, but you have to stay on your chain because you don't listen. Yeah, you don't listen. You didn't listen. What we're going to do here is delete this section here. Please leave the charging station before you do anything. Okay, guess I need to leave the charging station. There we go. So we're going to edit. We're going to click this one and say delete. Now we're going to see if we can see that hidden zone, that hidden pathway. Look, there is no pathway. Oh, it deletes it because it just deleted this pathway too. All right, 
So the pathway is gone now. That shouldn't be a problem anymore. Let's go out here. Oh, we've picked up a, a stick. Before I leave today, I'm going to wash this off again. You can see it's already pretty dirty. Even though it's only been, the last time I was here was, what, Sunday? And this is, what is today, Tuesday? So let's uh, go out here and map this. Let's uh, turn up the speed. It's already turned up. It knows me. Add a task area. All right, here we go. Since the last update, Luba has to travel on this line. They have, for some reason. They updated it to where Luba only travels on the boundaries instead of across the middle. And I don't like that, but we'll see. All right. That is complete. Continue planning. Get out of the mud. Thank you. So we're going to draw a channel now from this zone to the next zone. So we're going to say, see if there's a little gap here, create a channel. There we go. And I think there was a problem over here. Let me create a channel over here. So, let's see, because I didn't add a channel to get over here. Let's see if it can go mow that or if it says there's a problem. We'll say to mow it at two inches. See if it can get there from here. It didn't say there was a problem, so I'm going to guess there's not going to be a problem. And it's going to go ahead and get there with no issues, so... I'll probably end that task because I just need to clean it. Let's go ahead and end that. And then drive it over here and see how dirty it is. Watch out, duck. It's going to get you. Go that way. Go, go, go. Okay, so what we're going to do is tip it on its side and just check out how dirty it is. Ugh. Yeah, I would say uh, that's all clogged up again. So I was going to just see how dirty it is. It's been a couple of days since I cleaned it, and uh, it's pretty clogged up again. It must be pretty moist around here when it mows the grass. But quite a few of these, oh, that was actually, so that one, there's actually a problem here. That one, you see, it spins freely. This one does not spin at all. I'm going to have to check on that. See, this one, that one spins easy. This one, just, it's all tight. I washed it a little more and it does spin now. There we go. Nice and clean. Nice and clean, I guess, until it mows one more time and 
then it'll just be all dirty again. Alright, so we just washed Luba, and now I told it to go home. Move, duck. So, it's going home. Like it kind of did a pill out there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to send it to work in the other side of the front yard. And see if it gets stuck again. It's still trying to reverse. I guess it didn't connect good. Is it's little? Oh, it might be dirty. Okay, I cleaned off its little connectors. It was probably dirty. There. It made it that time. Lube is doing its thing over there, so I'm going to go ahead and leave and we're going to get this video uploaded, but I will comment in the top comment and let you all know if it got home tonight. Uh, I did not make a pathway between these two zones and it drove literally all the way to the original donut hole to get over to the other zone. So for some reason, uh, I guess when it crosses zones in its little little logic inside of its brain it does it at the midpoint I mean I don't know that to be true but obviously we just watched it happen it drove all the way out there to the middle before it crossed over but at least it crossed over that middle spot is right where that donut hole is so that's interesting anyway thanks for watching this episode and I will see y'all later